Hello, and welcome to Overland Calling. I remember last week, we were running Hurricane Creek. This week's episode, we're still kicking around the Knoxville area, exploring everything from dirt roads to two tracks to stuff that's got a little more action, and wrapping things up at an unlikely destination for me. Hope you enjoy this episode. Well, we have made our way to the Big South Fork National River and Recreation Area. Bam! Stop by the visitor center. Um, gonna give us a little breakdown on drivable trails, multi-use trails, and all that good stuff. So we're gonna explore around here a little bit. Check it out. Um, not too far away from Knoxville right now. Other than it being listed in green on a map, I didn't really have a lot to go by. So I'm just gonna go out and explore. My name is Brian, and welcome to Overland Calling. Just taking off from the visitor center here. Brandy Creek Visitor Center. And then off to Duncan Hollow Road. Next gonna be our uh, first adventure here in the park. We got 4.2 miles. We're on dirt, so that's a bonus. And I was talking to the ranger and they recommended staying off of Duncan Hollow Road because they almost got their Ford Explorer stuck. So of course, that's where I wanna go check out. We'll see how it is. Well, now that looks pretty interesting. That is a legal trail, multi-use. I'm gonna consult the map, see what we got. There it is, coming right off here. Let's see what this road has in store for us. All right, here we go. On to the dotted lines. I was supposed to be headed to a campground to check emails, clean up, maybe even edit some videos. Yeah, sorry, this is way better. This isn't bad. So what we got here? It's like about a 12 degree down. Definitely in your regular dirt road, that's for sure. Pretty darn nice. So far, it is nothing that a stock four wheel drive or heck, probably even a decent clearance two wheel drive can't take care of. 
there is some trail washout, but, uh, but nothing that I couldn't dodge. Very pretty road, though. It's a nice, nice, fun little jaunt through the woods. Ah, oh, what a pretty, pretty view of the trees. Oh my God, it's a Jeep! Ah! I know, I'm a funny guy. I think they might have been exaggerating just a little bit with the conditions of this road, Bubby. It's fun, but not treacherous. Oh, look at that. There's a little mud. Watch your head. Well, we made it to the end of the road. I can say we fully explored Duncan Hollow Road and its tributaries. Um, actually ran into some horses on the trail. So if you're out this way exploring, just make sure you're going nice and slow. You don't want to spook the horses. And also a guy on a bike. They spook easy too. So. Be nice, share the trail, pay attention to both the road and your speed. Because there's not a whole lot of room over here to do a bunch of turnoffs and stuff like that, especially if you're going at speed. Trail's not anything crazy, at least not right now, as I'm running it. A couple puddles, mostly just a, a little bit of bumpy two track, 10, 12% grades, little off camber. Any sort of a stock four x four should have no problem at all. Probably even a, like a two wheel drive. I, mean, I haven't put it in four wheel drive yet, but you do want some decent clearance. I wouldn't go running a sports car on this road. You're likely to get stuck in the mud. And don't forget all terrain or better tires. Well, the dirt couldn't last forever. Welcome to the world of pavement. We're gonna keep exploring though. I was checking Gaia. It looks like there's a couple more dirt roads on here. Do some pavement miles till the next dirt road. Divide road, sure enough. Twin arches, whatever the heck that is, I'll take it. We're back on dirt, folks, look at that. Well, this is not the most healthy meal in the world. It's pretty darn good, though. Let's go check this out. Oh, and hey, state line, three miles. Wow. My geography should be better. And I should know what state we'll be going into. And I'll guess, I'll say it's Kentucky. But we shall see. It's a whole brand new adventure.
Well, would you look at that? We are at the state line. They don't tell you what state, but oh well. We're in a brand new state. Not quite sure what it is yet. I should probably zoom out on the map and see. Oh, and we have made it to the Daniel Boone National Forest. Well, look at that. This trail really isn't anything earth shattering, but I'll tell you what, man, it is just a nice Sunday drive out exploring. I haven't seen a soul on dirt, hardly. I mean, granted, it's still, well, it's not even April yet, so we're still a little bit in the throes of winter. There's not a whole lot of foliage on the trees or anything like that. But it's just, just pretty and relaxing. Going anywhere particular other than roughly northeast, that's my goal for today. And before the campgrounds close, maybe a place with a shower and laundry, that'd be a bonus. If I don't find it though, because I stayed late exploring, you know what? I can deal with that. There is supposed to be a little turnoff here coming up. Might take us to an overlook spot. Looking at the topo on Gaia, and you know what? It doesn't look too bad, except I seem to have missed my turn. I didn't see anything that looked a whole lot like a road, but that may be just the little path I'm looking for. Well, would you look at that? There's a little stop sign. That must mean it's a road. Let's go explore. I am. Heck yeah. Mr. I'm gonna go to a campground and get clean and do laundry. Just disconnected his sway bar and aired down. Uh, we'll see how that original plan works out. But hey, head through some mud. I mean, worst case, you know, I'll just put air in the tires again. I may try very hard not to find a route that requires me to put my sway bar back on though because that's kind of a pain in the butt unless you're on really level ground so let's go check this trail out this mud hole looks a little interesting probably a little bit on the deep side oh there are some bubbles coming up but i don't know it feels Relatively hard. Worst case, I got my winch. It's not going to drown me out. Now's your chance to say, don't do this, stupid. You don't get to say it afterwards. Oh, that was stinky. Let's see. What else this trail has to offer? It's my very first trail in the Daniel Boone National Forest. How about that? And it looks like we got another mud hole. How about that? Would you look there? Low-hanging branches. A 
kind of losing the trail though. I mean, it appears there's a trail there. I don't quite know about that. It's pretty back here. Shows I was only about halfway into this little spur and it was supposed to end on a nice overlook, but I'm just not seeing any sign of the trail. I don't think trailblazing's in my future. Time to get back through this mud hole. Sorry, that was horrible filming. I hope you got to see it the first time. Not getting the good side, but I haven't taught Zeus to hold a camera yet. So you just gotta, whoa, take what you can get. Such high hopes. Well, it's still the best trail I've been on in the Daniel Boone National Forest. Granted, it is the only one besides the road. Well, we're gonna give the Scorpion Oak Trail a shot. It is a designated route, shows to be less major than the dirt road we were on. I've never seen a Scorpion Oak, so maybe I'll see one on this trail. So far, this is my second favorite trail in the Daniel Boone National Forest. All right, buddy, here we are, Fireside. Ah, that's a nice place. We found laundry and a shower. No sexy location, we're at a KOA campground with the sound of the highway in the background. But I'm clean and I've got fresh clothes because when you're down to your last pair of pants and underwear, then it's time to make some stuff happen. Tomorrow, freedom of the open road and hopefully an epic spot. Well, that's going to be a wrap for this episode. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe if you're not already. Stay tuned for the next episode where we finish exploring the area and see where our wheels take us. Till next time, enjoy the ride.